for a very long time now, basically since the since the first time I started looking into how to get stronger, how to do deadlift, squat, bench, all that stuff. Ever since then, basically, I, I've been hearing people say that one of the best accessories for the deadlift is the barbell row. Uh, I remember, you know, strong lifts, far bar five. I don't know if you guys remember this. Uh, maybe some of you guys are doing it. Um, and, and other programs, like, you know, novice programs, would have you deadlift and row and those two exercises would interchange. So you would never do a deadlift and a row in the same session. It would be kind of like deadlift, row, deadlift, row, deadlift, row on, on, on the days. You know, like, so you might be doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You'd be doing row Monday, deadlift Wednesday, row Friday, that kind of thing. You would never do them at the same time because the idea is, is that both of the movements basically the same muscles in slightly different fashion. Uh, so with the deadlift you know, your upper body, let's say, your upper body is static. It's, you know, cons uh, uh, isometrically uh, contracted while your lower body is doing all of the motion, right? Your hip extension uh, muscles, glutes, hamstrings are actually moving the, 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 the movement, right? They're doing the, the, the work while everything else is isometrically contracted. Everything else is stabilizing, you know, holding that shape. With the barbell row, it, you know, it's flipped, you know, the, that relationship is flipped. So uh, the lower body is static, isometric. It's holding these positions. And the upper body or your arms are doing the movement. So both of the movements are basically doing the same type of work except different roles, right? So for the longest time, I've heard people say, yeah, it's the best accessory for the deadlift because it uses the same muscles. But it's also very, very, very taxing and very not doable at the same time uh so you can't go heavy on barbells and heavy on on deadlifts that was kind of the the general gist of the whole thing and so I've, i kind of took that and i, I tried it and I, I tried to fight this whole thing and i quickly realized that the lower back gets spent too quickly and you simply can't recover you can't recover uh because the lower back apparently takes the longest to recover from from work and so then i started looking into other back exercises, upper back exercises, things like pull-ups, you know, chin-ups, you know, pull-downs, all that kind of stuff. And it made sense because while you're doing that exercise or those type of exercises, the vertical pulling, you're basically tractioning the rest of your spine and it's kind of like a restorative aspect to it as well. Having said all of that, I have heard many different things many different times and I have struggled with some of these experiences that, I've, that I would hear. Versus what my reality is. And so, you know, during the last few years, I've challenged some of these, let's say, truths in that the community has. Um, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's all crap. Not, it's not all crap, but, you know, I, I like to test it and I like to push those boundaries just to see for myself if it's possible. People would say you can't deadlift more than once a week. Here I am doing two times a week and not just any old deadlift. I'm hitting... 97% of my max twice in a week. So I'm, I'm progressing really well with these rack pulls. My conditioning for the rack pulls and the deadlift is now pretty good. I can repeat basically, even on a bad day, I can repeat somewhat a similar effort. 260 kilo deadlift twice in a week. That is something that I'm very proud of and very happy about. So the whole deadlift once a week thing is does not have to be truth. It doesn't. It depends on who you are and what your background is and your leverage and all that. Uh, but it doesn't have to be the truth. You, you know, you can you can test this out and you can, let's say, build some sort of resilience to that central nervous system fatigue that we all experience. Uh, I am now thinking to myself, can I do the barbell row? Can I coexist with the barbell row, row while doing the deadlifting? Now, it's obvious that if I substitute one of those deadlift days and I'm plugging in a heavy row day, that's doable. I haven't really shifted any pillars anyway. It's, it's, that, this is what the norm is. This is what the understanding is. But I'm wondering whether I could do barbell rows in between these deadlift days. Obviously, the first thing is I can't be going one rep maxing barbell rows. That's not what I'm after here. What I'm after is back work, specifically upper back work, sub-maximally doing like sets of tens, that kind of stuff in between. Will that be too much for my lower back? I mean, right now, I'm not loading my lower back to that same level 
but now I'm asking my lower back to hold isometrically while I'm rowing. Could be too much. Um, but I'm willing to experiment this idea because, well, everyone agrees that the barbell row is the best or one of the best accessories for, for the deadlift. Now, I feel when I'm deadlifting, and I've watched the last week worth of deadlifting lots and lots of times, and I feel like it could be a wrong diagnosis, it could be a wrong uh, way to look at it, but I feel like I'm collapsing my lower, my upper back rather too easily. I feel like I'm hanging on for dear life in the upper back, and I feel like I'm leaking power that I'm producing in the lower body. I'm leaking it at the top. And so these rack pulls that I'm doing, I feel like I've gotten stronger in my hips my hamstrings, my core, but the upper back is like a fishing rod, right? And, and the more I put my mind into it, the more I'm kind of deforming or denaturing my upper back, which is causing the freaking lower back and the rest of the chain at the bottom to just exponentially, you know, spin the wheels in the mud, if you will. So I'm thinking to myself, I haven't specifically done anything direct for my upper back, you know, your conventional upper back movements for a very long time. You know, I tried upper back work, you know, with pull-ups and I found like that didn't really do much for me. So for a long time now, maybe three, four months now, I've been wondering about the rows and I've always kind of been, I don't know if that can coexist. Now that I've reached a level that I can deadlift very well twice a week, with lots of volume and uh, I'm explosive in both of those days. Now I'm thinking to myself, man, maybe I can sort of slowly start to build that resilience for barbell rowing that isometric strength for the lower body while I'm doing the row. So these are some of the thoughts that I have. And today I came in and I did that. You know, I worked up to, I mean, I don't know last time I, I did any sort of Bible rowing. I remember once upon a time, maybe five years ago, after seeing that Kayla Woolham video with Super Training, um, the boys over there, Super Training Gym, you know, he was showing them how to do the Kayla Woolham deadlift row, where it's kind of like this, muscle action where you are like using your whole freaking body to row so it's like a deadlift in a row i remember i i did it for 140 for one back then very ugly looking thing but you know you can hardly call it a row but it that's what the exercise is today i was like oh like, let me just get up to like you know two plates and i'll row that for 10 no way man no way <laughs> i don't have that strength in my upper back so i dropped it to 80 kilos and i did three sets of 10 with that that kind of feels like I'm actually rowing, the, you know, with the upper body. Um, so that's kind of where I'm thinking right now. I want to challenge this idea. Can you deadlift a lot? And can you also do rowing while you are deadlifting a lot? Um, you know, I'm kind of picking which truth I want to, <laughs> which truth I want to believe in all of this. The first truth I'm, I'm, I'm picking to believe is that barbell rows are excellent for deadlifting. That's great. But what I'm also in the same kind of flipping that coin, what I'm not agreeing with is that you can't coexist Bible rowing and deadlifting. Something has to give. So I'm kind of picking and choosing what I want to believe for the, the, the sake of this experiment, for the sake of trying something different. I want to get the benefits of Bible rowing without the negative effects. Is that a dream world? Maybe it is. It's possibly, um, you know, silly thinking. But I, I really want to see uh, I don't know, last time I, I gave barbell rowing, I can't even remember last time I gave it a good go. I really want to see what effect it has uh, when I put it into the mix of of these rack pulls and these deadlifts that I'm doing right now. I, I just wonder if I develop some sort of bit of extra strength in the upper back, how that would translate to deadlifting. Um, I don't know how many times you guys have told me in the comments that if you're struggling off the floor, one of the things you, sh you should look at is your upper back because of that whole fishing rod thing, man. Like if you start you know, collapsing your, your thoracic spine, all of a sudden your mid back and your lower back uh, have to, having to work more because the integrity of that structure is compromised at the top. And so it's kind of like a domino effect. But if you don't let that first domino fall, then everything, the whole system is all right. Like you're not having to deal with an emergency situation where you're trying to stop the momentum of this, you know, denaturing of the freaking spine, right? So let's see what I can do. Obviously, I'm going to ease into it. I'm not going to go crazy and looking for for doms i'm gonna ease into it um maybe a few times a week to see how it goes um i really want to you know i was telling a, a, the guy at the gym a, a fellow at the gym uh yesterday you know i feel like um i don't know 
maybe this is just all mental, but I feel like I'm losing, like I'm having trouble, like mind muscle connecting with my lats and, and, and my, the upper back. I even said to him, I wanted to do it yesterday, but I was just too spent yesterday to do rowing after all the lower back work that I did. But I, I want to kind of have, I wonder having a bit of a pump or something, you know, having some sort of connection with the upper back, whether that will help me deadlifting. Just purely for the mental side, so I'm kind of aware of where it is and I can contract it better. Because when I really focus on, on contracting the, the crap out of the lats, the bar feels lighter. It feels lighter because of that fishing rodding thing, man. Now, I'm using the fishing rod as a thing, but I don't know. I haven't heard it anywhere else. This is just me kind of thinking about it, you know, uh, conceptually understanding what, what's happening, you know. I really don't want to have a rounded back. Obviously, you can't deadlift max weights with, with a flat upper back. But the more you can resist that, the better off you're going to be in the lower body part. That's where my mind is today. So I did some rowing today. I did some front squats. And that was basically the session. Um, I want to do some rowing. I'm finally excited to do it. All right, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.